2008. And with your fellow musicians, maybe you can introduce them. Uh, this is Jens Dupin on the drums. Uh -huh. And then uh, Mihail Ivanov on the bass. Let's, let's introduce you. You're a composer, pianist, you studied in Belgrade. And then what happens? Uh, I started my education in Rotterdam. And I finished my education in Rotterdam. Mm -hmm. In fact, so, three educations. Three, yeah. <laughs> Composition? Uh, I did just piano, uh, bachelor and master's, and I did also composition in bachelor. Uh -huh. You won this prize last year? Huh? Yeah, I, last year I was uh, awarded uh, the Young Pianist Foundation Jazz yeah. Award. Uh -huh. Which uh, made possible uh, to record this CD. Yeah. This is your project. Yes. Yes. And the first song we heard, Dobro, of course, what is special about this that you use the laptop and there is this beautiful voice. Where does this stem from? Um, this is a song in particular which comes from a region in Bulgaria which is called Stranja. It's in the southeast. It's not near to Varna where you were born? It's south from Varna. Uh -huh. And it's not very uh, typical song. That's why I like. It. It's very. Like it goes it. on. Uh, yeah. Again, it's re very repetitive. It's very repetitive. It's uh, three verses, and uh, the story tells about uh, a family, which uh, uh, how they met when they were young. They went to harvest times, and um, at the end they grew older. And the only thing they couldn't achieve in their lifetime is to have a home baby, which uh, gives another more dramatic aspect to the melody. Uh -huh. It's a sad song. It's a very sad it's song. It's a very sad song. So this is material for you to, to, as a kind of structure, to create your own composition. Yeah, exactly. This project stands from Bulgaria. It's about uh, songs and dances which I take. Uh -huh. and uh, I take them apart and then I assemble them with so I uh, treat the song and uh, the, the material I treat it as any other compositional material, uh -huh. which would be a major triad or a rhythmical element. That's what we do in you do in composition. Uh -huh. So uh, this is sort of my way of uh, recreating uh, this, uh, these songs because some of those songs are more popular than other songs. Uh -huh. And uh, in, in that way, I wanted to uh, keep the history of the song which is fading away a little bit. Keep it alive. Because Keep it alive, yeah. Can, we give, can you give us another example of a song you took? Of course, we're here in, in Holland, we in yeah. Bulgaria. Lev Babulgar. Yeah. Huh? Oh, no. Exactly, exactly. Oh. Yes. Uh, I have another song which is called Doncho. Uh -huh. And it's also it's, uh, with a choir, so I, I just give a short it's, it's example. Like, it's a very good thing. It comes in handy to have a... Yeah, well, you don't need to hire a choir. It's it's beautiful. No, uh, the thing is that this question immediately arises: why why don't you have a choir? But you why don't it? you have a singer? Yeah, because but because it's the recording which has a special atmosphere already, and the modern sing Bulgarian folklore singers they don't have that quality in the voices anymore. Okay. Because these are I don't know unprofessional vo voices uh, which comes from some villages. Uh -huh. And, um, so you look for this pureness? I look for the pureness, mm. yeah. I look for the very um, authentic uh, source. So can you deconstruct a kind of Vabulga song like and then make a new construction? For, I, for me uh, we have one, one of the repertory in our uh -huh. uh, band. It's also one of the very famous Are You Tulip or Hyacinth, uh -huh. which uh, I rearranged. But now I can uh, show you another song with a sample, okay. which re resembles the... Uh, Very impressive. It's very, 
lots of uh, energy and uh, yeah, this uh, of course a choir uh -huh. gives energy. Uh -huh. and you came to Holland for the for, for, I mean when fate would have been a little bit different. You've been you would have been in America. You told me. Uh, yeah, exactly. I I had this scholarship from Berkeley uh, a long time ago, which was part of the tuition and uh, by circumstances I decided to come to Holland to maybe later use that scholarship but this never happened so and <laughs> you ended up here I'm uh, yeah and now when I look out of my window from my balcony and I look like this I can see you uh, working with dancers yeah that's huh? on our side uh, mm -hmm. which um, I do very different uh, things in my life uh, I go out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I also work for ballet classes. This uh -huh. is uh, part of my uh, daily job. Um, I work with this band. I uh, work solo piano. I work with Mahir Chusma. Yeah. The first uh, album you made with the, was with solo piano and also with uh, the, the samples. Uh, yeah, and this is uh, the, the project stands from Bulgaria. It's uh -huh. a solo piano. So, what, CD. so is this is this this is the second continues? Yeah. With this a, is what, what's the next step in your? Project. Well, I have plans to uh, to have another trio CD with different songs, and uh -huh. uh, actually also to expand in the ensemble with um, authentic instruments as well, which um, they're from not Bulgaria. So, from Bulgaria. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, but these are still in the plans. So yeah. I don't have anything. But concrete first, yet. you're going to perform with your trio in the coming time uh, in Schiedam, in Utrecht, in Helmond, and also with the Magid Schutzma. And I don't know this CD. I'm going to listen to it. Um, and there is one performance in the Bimash, you told me. Oh, that's in on the 20th of February. Next year? Next year. Okay, so... Right.